What's up people, it's your girl Adiola. So last week a video surfaced of Nigerian soldiers collapsing because of lack of water to drink. Look at soldiers, Boko Haram not touching nothing because of water, it fent up, it fent up because of water. More than 70 soldiers fall today. No water, this is our three days here now, we know we day now, no water here. No water, no food, we just they suffer. Look at soldiers, they fent. I made the airport pass this message for our president. Will they die for years? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no problem, no problem. We will know what to do. See how soldiers they fall. Hapa, no hapa, no, 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 no. We have a comment to say. And you beloved, and you beloved this. And then the army came out saying that, oh, they've provided balls for the soldiers, that this happened six months ago. I said, shoot, did it happen or did it not? And who cares when it happened? And then they said that the video was released by mischievous and disgruntled element. But, okay, I'm like, why? Why? Really? Really? Eh? First of all, why do we call people elements in Nigeria? Eh? As in elements. Why? Why? So people are now mischievous and disgruntled because they expose the inhumane treatment of our soldiers? Lord, Lord, Father. I wonder how they describe me. Eh? Call it a wall. You should be worried. I can only imagine how they describe you. You always exposing all those corrupt people. <laughs> you better watch your back, my brother. So people are now disgruntled for exposing inhuman treatment. Ah! The devil is a liar. And then the army said it is disheartening that some mischievous elements have decided to circulate this video, creating the false impression that it is a recent occurrence. I'm like, it happened six months ago. How about it's not like uh, it happened two, three years ago. But Buhari was already president. Should this happen under a man that was an army general? Is this the change that Buhari promised? If this was under Jonathan, APC will use it as propaganda or not be so I beg you, that one a story. You will think that because Buhari used to be in the military, the Ali soldiers will be taken care of. Uh-uh, nah lie, hero. By the way, let me talk to the Nigerian army. You know what? No, 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 never mind, never mind. <laughs> what, I should? They never take me serious. You, they never take me serious. You want me to talk to them? Okay, Nigerian army, eh? You know, do you know, do Okay, okay. Uh, let me give you one advice, just one advice. You need to stop trying too hard to have a good image, you know? Especially by downplaying something that is obviously horrible. Uh -uh. Soldiers are collapsing and getting drips. Eh? When they are not fighting Boko Haram, they did not eat for four days, they did not drink for four days. Hapa! Instead of you to attack the whistleblowers, you would have better image by admitting that this thing happened and that it is a disgrace that it happened. And then you can say, but this is what we've done since it happened, you know? Apparently, one soldier embezzled the water meant for other soldiers. Can I say embezzled water? Wait, wait, wait. They said that he mischievously concealed the water tank. So, <laughs> in fact, kudos to them for waiting this long. For, I mean, I wouldn't wait that long before releasing the video. I would release the video the same day while it is happening. Go, go. <laughs> Anyway, speaking of Mr. President, am I okay? Yeah, welcome. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Welcome to this program. It's been a long time. But seriously, Mr. President, let me look you in the eye. Why? Why? I've said this on this program several times. Why now? I'm always saying that I'm on speed dial, that you can call me before you say anything or release any statement. Eh? As you guys know, on the 22nd of this month, Mr. President was scheduled to be in Enugu for the Economic and Security Summit, but he did not go. 48 hours to the event, though, Biafra said that if Buhari should come to Enugu, or any Biafra land that they would kill him. To cut a long story short, Buhari did not go. Me, I didn't think much of it. I'm thinking, okay, maybe he couldn't make it or whatever. Imagine my shock when the presidency released a statement. I said, ah, they say, poor. I, I always tell them to call me. They did not. They said that Buhari did not go because the date was close to Christmas. <laughs> Find out why. <laughs> Oh my god, really? Really? I mean, that is even worse. You know, a lot of Biafrans believe you didn't go because of their threat. But this excuse that you came up with, it's better if you didn't say anything. Papa, eh? Oh god, buddy. You know, too well, you know, too well. Anyway, the presidency said that some elders from the southeast were the ones that came and advised him not to go because it's too close to Christmas and it could be disruptive, whatever. So maybe that is what happened for real. I don't know. But really, it's so funny that this is the excuse that the presidency was given. So they may be right. I don't know. Maybe they begged him not to come but uh, it's just really funny and speaking of their friends should i talk about their friends because get ready because they will call you a prostitute okay it's me that they will call a prostitute whenever we talk about their on this show people attack us they call me a prostitute they call me yoruba prostitute uh <laughs> and then when we don't talk about biafra it becomes another issue they are very upset that we don't talk about biafra and if you talk about biafra they call us prostitute it's like there's no way to please some of my biafra brothers and sisters you know do well but uh, today we will talk about biafra so um why is the presidency still keeping 
the canon. I honestly don't see why they've kept him for so long. It's been a year and then I heard that they were trying to try him in secret and I'm like no 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 that is not right. Since when did we start trying people in secret in Nigeria? Really? Ogabwari? Having said that, what does he mean by he would expose secrets that would sink Nigeria? The guy said he would destroy Nigeria completely with evidence. No, don't know who I am. I would, in this drug, I would destroy Nigeria completely with evidence. I will kill this over here. And why can't he just say it instead of putting us in suspense? Not only that, Human Rights Watch said that more than 150 Biafrans have been killed by the Nigerian police during protests. And I'm like, is it possible that Mr. President did not hear about this because, you know, he reads the news? Because there is absolutely no reason to kill people because they say that they want to secede from Nigeria. By now, he should have released a statement to condemn the killing of Biafrans during protests and to hold those responsible accountable. I've said several times on this show that whether you agree with Biafrans or you don't agree with Biafrans, there is absolutely no reason to kill people because they say that they want to secede. Two people can agree to disagree and life goes on. You guys know I don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real.